our first word today is a uh, hub and a hub is simply a center of activity a certain kind of activity um, a lot of times you hear about financial hubs this is a place where a lot of banks uh, are centered and a lot of finance international finance so like Hong Kong or Singapore are often called financial hubs hubs are often airports um, you hear about like London is kind of a hub the airport to enter Europe uh, Tokyo and Seoul are kind of hubs for entering uh, Asia you know these kind of hubs where many people come and transfer flights and things the example they use here is yeah Gangnam area is kind of a hub for cosmetic surgery in Korea so just kind of a center of activity where people meet and all kinds of things are happening like there's a gravitational pull to these areas number two is to flag uh, in this sense it's used as a verb and this is kind of to mark something in a way in a specific way um, so a lot of times on internet these days you can flag certain content so Facebook and YouTube encourages users to flag uh, inappropriate content. So if you see something that is not appropriate or should not be on the internet, you can flag that. And that means you send them kind of a message that, hey, you need to remove this content. So that's flagging the kind of inappropriate content. Um, such as fake news in this story fake news is considered inappropriate so if you mark that uh, as something not good Facebook company can see that and they can remove the content so that is kind of flagging as a verb number three is thorny um, thorny describes something usually uh, an issue that is kind of causes a lot of stress or controversy or difficulty these days in world politics there are many kind of thorny issues maybe it's uncomfortable to talk about them and um, difficult to have an answer to so I won't list any of them but these days especially in Korea there are many thorny issues going on they're not comfortable to talk about and people yeah it doesn't put people in a good mood to talk about them so we can call that issue thorny like it has thorns in it it pricks you and it hurts like so that is a thorny issue um, a trade-off number four is kind of like the balance you achieve when you get something and you give something so a lot of times in economics this is kind of referred to as the cost benefit uh, and almost everything in the world in your life can be broken down into cost benefit you know it's it's a trade-off what is the cost benefit of coming to an English study group right it's like it's a trade-off you get to practice English and learn things but then you have to consider like oh it's late at night and I have to you know commute there and all these other things and it, you know so there's kind of a trade-off between those two things what you get same with like exercising maybe you know you you have to spend a lot of energy and money and time at the gym but you also get a healthy body so it's kind of a trade-off so you could use countless examples of a trade-off for cost benefit in your life number five integral is just a, a strong way to say necessary uh, necessary to make something complete um, I think the the conglomerates like the chaebols in Korea are kind of integral to Korea's economy so there's a lot of issues now with the Samsung going on and how to punish that without affecting the economy because chaebols are so integral to Korea's economy so integral could just mean yeah really necessary to make something important
And number six is to discern. Uh, discernment is the ability to see the differences or recognize like differences between things. Um, discerning between good and bad, kind of. Uh, so in the video they talk about some people cannot discern between real news and fake news on like Facebook and the internet. They're not able to see the difference and it's a big problem actually. So uh, discernment can apply to a lot of things. Uh, just being able to recognize the differences between anything and seeing subtle differences is to discern. Definitely, they're the same, kind of synonymous, right? Discern, distinguish. I suppose distinguish would be for more, like, light things, casual things. Like, can you distinguish between two languages? Discern is for, like, deeper things, more philosophical concepts and ideas like okay so any more questions